Hello, Leo. Welcome to your reading. So if you're a sun, moon, rising, Venus, Leo, this is for you. We're going to take a look at the energy for the next seven days. Coming into the reading, what's the energy challenges? What's on your mind? Recent past situation. Hi, Leo. There you are. So what's in the foundation for the next seven days? Why everything's happening? What you'll experience in the near future? How you see yourself? What's hidden coming that you don't know yet? Your emotions? And what is the main energy, the outcome? for the next seven days. The link to the extended reading is in the description box below and pinned in the comment section. We'll get some advice from Spirit and see what they want you to focus on and then we'll also do a love reading. All right, let's check it out. Coming in, what's the energy? We got the Eight of Swords, Leo. What's the challenge to that Eight of Swords, the big fat devil? We're gonna lay out all the cards and then we'll go through them. What's on your mind? Four of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, energy. What happened in your recent past? The lovely nine of pentacles, Earth, Virgo. For me at least, what's the situation? Why is everything happening over the next seven days? You've got the three of pentacles. Coming into the near future, what will you experience? The two of wands, a decision. There's your fire energy. Got to take action. How do you see yourself? What are you up to? More wands, more fire, more Leo. Eight of wands. Looks like a busy week. A lot going on. What's in your environment coming in that you don't see yet? The two of pentacles. Some of you are traveling or you're making plans to travel. What's going on in your emotions? Yeah, the chariot. Also the car to travel. Cancer energy. The good old water uber. What's your outcome? Six of pentacles. So reciprocation. Equal give and take, giving here, giving there. I see y'all spending some money over the next week, Leo. It could be, again, due to travel. Got a lot of travel cards here. I also see you around, um, you know, a group of people as well. So friends, family, something like that. Could be going on at work as well. You feel stuck though. You've coming in, you've got this eight of swords with the devil. That's very stuck energy, stuck in your thoughts. I think you guys want to retreat. You want to get away here. And you could be pulling away from somebody. Maybe you went through a recent breakup or um, a break or just kind of, again, it's like, let me do my thing. I mean, you could even be married and still be the Nine of Pentacles. It's just, you know, I need my independence. I'm going to focus on me. I'm going to take care of myself. Some of you, it's like a spa or something that you guys are planning or that you are attending. Um, oh, also real quick, before we clarify, uh, Wait till, the, make sure you hang out till the very end of the reading, Leah. We're going to talk about the giveaway. So just to show my appreciation, I do give a, a giveaway like once a quarter. And uh, we'll talk about how you can enter and what that giveaway is. Also in the comments section, I want to hear your take on Twin Flame versus Soulmate. Let's have a conversation about it. What, what's your belief? And if you believe in a Twin Flame, have you met yours? Do you have a Twin Flame? Let's hear about it, because I want to know. I find it interesting, everybody's perspective. So, all right, Leo, let's see what's going on. All right, what does Leo need to know? So everything's happening this week or the next seven days because of the Three of Pentacles. So this is getting along with others. This is working together, conversations, building. The Pentacles, of course, can represent stability, success, money, your career, but people are getting along people are making plans and everybody's like yeah that sounds good i want to do that too so whether that's in a relationship or you know again just with family or friends there's some sort of collaboration going on you feel a little bit stuck a little bit tied and bound here too it could just be frustration especially if you're working with others even though there is this teamwork you know it can be stressful and maybe there's even someone involved that's a little toxic you know or it doesn't even have to be toxic maybe there's somebody you know in your environment in this group in this decision that you're making that you know eats too many pop tarts or they drink too much tequila you know it's like that person and you're like oh man i gotta be around this person this week okay we're gonna make the best of it it's like they're the life of the party but at the same time you know they can be a lot all right, let's dive in. Eight of Swords is coming in. Why? Because of the Ten of Cups. Yeah, it could be somebody in your family for sure. Like you're going to be spending time with this person or these people and you're like, oh man, what's this devil? Capricorn. What is it? Five of Pentacles in reverse. 
Also too, if you are, if you know you're gonna be spending time with a group of friends or family, or you are going on vacation, or you're making plans, or something like that, somebody might be hurting for money, and you, you might be afraid, or maybe they've asked you to pick up the bill, or help them financially, something like that. Also too, just for you, Leo, maybe you've had to shell out a lot of coins. That will get better, but you're, you feel a little trapped. You feel a little stuck because maybe you've had to do this big payout on something, but you're happy. Ten of Cups, you know it'll lead to happiness. What's on your mind? Four of Swords, why? And the Ten of Swords, yeah, laid the F out, right? I Again, because on your mind is I need rest. I need recovery. I need to get away. More so rest my mind and my thoughts because of the Ten of Swords. So let's talk about it. Yes, Ten of Swords can be deception or a breakup, like a really difficult period. It's hurtful, it's painful. It's the end of that cycle. This can also be you've been working really hard towards something and you're laid the F out. That Ten of Swords is I've been working 80 hours a week because I'm trying to build here. I'm trying to work with others. And also too, maybe I'm trying to make plans for something that I know is gonna cost a lot of money. And so I'm working overtime or just laid out and you need some peace, you need some rest. Uh, for some of you, you are taking a break from somebody that's hurt you and you decided to kind of nurture yourself here in the recent past with that nine of pentacles maybe go out of town maybe go to a retreat or just take good care of yourself focusing on yourself your health what's the nine of pentacles and the queen of swords libra gemini aquarius yeah like very matter of fact that queen of swords is the no-nonsense queen she's like i'll cut you off she's honest when she's in the upright but she's single or she's thinking about becoming single, divorced, single, and just trying to live your best life. And I just feel a lot of you over the next week or so are making plans or you're going to be surrounded by people who lift you up, that you have a good time around. Somebody might have a little too good of a time with the devil. Why is it all happening? Three of Pentacles with the Wheel of Fortune. Your money will get better too. The Wheel of Fortune, so Major Arcana, it's a big change. If something starts to move in your favor, maybe you were afraid people weren't gonna, going to get along or it wasn't going to be a good time or something like that. But with the Wheel and the Upright, it's like the universe is backing you here. Things are going to change for the better. They're moving in the right direction. What's this Wheel of Fortune? And the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, because there's somebody, could even be a friend, but there's somebody that causes some drama that you're gonna be around or you're thinking about being around and you know there could even be some jealousy. Things will go better this time around though. That's what this feels like. Others of you, again, you're just looking for change. You're, you're ready for that wheel to move in your favor because again, you have had a fallout or you know, even if you're married or in a relationship, you've just had this kind of maybe argument, maybe you're just not feeling it this week. Somebody might be upset because you are taking off and nurturing yourself coming into the near future you'll experience the two of wands with the knight of pentacles travel making a decision but being a little bit at a crossroads on how to take action because of money knight of pentacles virgo taurus energy also two things that you're going to be really cautious with your money too and you're spending your energy that knight of pentacles always reaches his goal it's just kind of at a standstill i mean it moves very slowly Knight of Pentacles with the Emperor, Aries energy, <coughs> Major Arcana. So that Emperor is also setting boundaries. So if you're having to set boundaries with a love interest, you're bossing up, you're like, I know what I'm doing. I'm taking my time. I'm traveling. I'm making decisions. I don't have it all tied up yet, but it's happening because that Emperor will overcome an obstacle he is in control he requires order and stability he, he's overcoming chaos it just feels like a very much of a leadership role with you leo over the next seven days or so like people are depending on you almost and that might be what some of the stress is about whether that's at work or just in your personal life as well you see yourself as the eight of wands with the three of swords that eight of wands is moving forward quickly. Those wands are flying through the air, manifestation and change. It, and again, it can be travel because of the three of swords. So what's this three of swords? And the nine of cups. Yeah, overindulging a little bit. Again, some of you 
are definitely traveling or moving forward you're going to do something nice it doesn't you don't have to be going out of town i do feel like somebody's traveling or making plans but that three of swords is separation heartbreak of course disappointment and so you're moving forward you want to stay busy over the next week as well and just kind of forget about things Remember, the Three of Swords can even just be a fight with a friend or a family member where people have, you know, thrown some words and there's kind of this separation. It hits you hard though, right? It is the Three of Swords. It's, it's disappointing and it hurts. It's separation. But with the Nine of Cups, this is like, I'm just, I'm not going to have one bottle of tequila. I'm going to have three or a lot of chocolate milk. So that Nine of Cups is a little bit overindulgent. So you guys, to me, it looks like are in a place of, I'm just going to go be happy and I'm going to do things for my, myself. What's in your environment coming in? Two of Pentacles. What do we got? And the Eight of Swords in reverse. Nice. Busy, busy, busy. The best advice for the next week, Leo, is to stay really busy. Because again, that's what's coming that you don't see. That two of pentacles is, man, I'm juggling a lot. I got a lot going on. I see you guys making a lot of plans, not only for yourself, but others that you're around. But it's going to get you out of that frustration, right? It's gonna help you kind of release. What's this two of pentacles with the eight of swords in reverse for Leo and the knight of wands? Yeah, travel. And there's your fire energy as well. Yeah, you're in pursuit of something. That knight of wands is, is traveling forward. He's passionate about something. He's taking action. He's going places. So even if it isn't travel, it's definitely a week of no longer feeling stuck, trapped. You're releasing and you're staying busy. Some of you are juggling finances a little bit. It might be a little bit slow week for your finances because I feel like you're either <clears throat> spending money on travel or you're doing something a little bit elaborate for yourself, which you deserve. That five of pentacles on that devil, that five of pentacles in reverse. Again, somebody may be leaning on you for money, but for a lot of you, that's you overcoming having to shell out a lot of money as well. What's going on in your feels, Leo? You've got the chariot. Major Arcana for Cancer could also represent travel. And the seven of swords. Yeah, it's just like moving forward, overcoming obstacles, chaos. You're pulling back on those reins and slowing down that energy. You are in control this week. And with the seven of swords, again, could have been somebody cheated you out of money or, you know, somebody was manipulative or deceptive in some way, but you're just moving forward. Like you've got a goal straight ahead and you're going to do it. What's the seven of swords and the king of pentacles? Money, money, money. So the king of pentacles, earth energy. Yes, he's a court card. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. He's in the upright. I don't necessarily think this is a person that would have done that Seven of Swords to you. For some of you, the Seven of Swords can also be strategizing, right? Like you're putting a plan in place and you don't have to tell everybody your plans. You can actually show up as the Seven of Swords in that regard, right? It's you keeping things to yourself. And with the King of Pentacles, for some of you who are in a relationship or dating someone pretty, you know, maybe an earth sign, Again, you're kind of just keeping things to yourself because this is about you for the week. And there's nothing wrong with that. What's the outcome for the week, Leo? You got the Six of Pentacles. What's this about? Oh my gosh, another king and the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Those of you that are in a relationship, married, or you know, you've, you're seeing somebody for a little bit of amount of time here, I feel like this person is going to want to be involved. It doesn't mean they will, but the King of Swords will speak his case. Like he's going to communicate the truth. And also too though, I think that you come to an understanding with someone here and they may even give you a little pocket change. You know, that Six of Pentacles could be somebody's giving you something. What's the Six of Pentacles with the King of Swords? You're also gonna communicate to someone that this is the energy that you're in and that you need this week to kind of recover. And it's it's really about you this week and you will communicate that. We've got a queen of swords and a king of swords. They're both on the upright. Regardless of zodiac signs, they are speaking their truth, but they can be a little distant, right? They can be a little cold towards each other. What's this king of swords? There you are, the sun, major arcana for Leo. 
And it's bringing happiness, right? And that Six of Pentacles is also you helping others that are involved within your space this week, whether that's traveling, whether that's just, you know, taking a day or two, whatever this is to kind of get your spirits up. I think that you're helping, you're helping planning, you know, you're giving to them, they're giving to you. There's this balance. Money's going to improve as well. Even if you had to help somebody financially, you get that back. The sun, there you are in your element going, some of you are traveling to a warm place. I mean, really, the sun can represent that travel as well, but just happiness. And this will also kind of help you heal and release some frustration. Some of you, that frustration is just work and it's just kind of life and you're letting loose this week a little bit. Others of you, it is because of a relationship, but I'll tell you, regardless of their zodiac sign, they're still very present. They're thinking about you or they're communicating with you. Both of these kings are in the upright. So for me, it says, even if they left, they don't wanna be gone for long. So keep that in mind. Now in the extended, we'll hit a little bit deeper on advice. So what does spirit really want you to pay attention to? And then we will also do a love reading person on your mind, how they're going to react to all of this, how they feel about you, and how you guys will move forward. That will be for singles also. So if you are single, that will be the next person coming into your life. Now let's talk about the giveaway. So I'm going to give away a private reading. I will pull the winner on August 1st. Uh, one private reading, all you have to do is just comment below that you'd like to be entered into the drawing for the private reading. You can comment on as many of the videos as you like. And um, yeah, I'll let y'all know on August 1st, I'm gonna pull the winner and you will get a private reading. So make sure you comment below about your soulmate twin flame and your thoughts on that. And then let me know if you wanna be in the drawing. All right, I appreciate you guys so very much. Hit that thumbs up if this one hit for you. I would really appreciate it. And I will see y'all on the extended. Love you hard. Love me hard back and we'll speak soon. Take care.